Good morning, good morning, guys, and a whale come into the show. We are just getting our day started. Yeah, that's right. And now we gotta get out of here. We just finished getting offloaded. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know if I can get out of here. This truck is kind of right here. I don't know why these guys would park right there. Yikes. All right, let me go as far as I can up there. <clears throat> Hopefully we can get by. I think it looks like we should be able to. Yeah, we are. Here we go. Oh, look at these old, old, super old buildings up here. Yeah. That's right. <clears throat> Anyways, we're going to go ahead and continue on. Uh, we got a reload. We're going to Baltimore. Yeah. And we are only supposed to be uh, picking up our load over there tomorrow. <clears throat> but we got 380 miles to make it up there. Yeah, that's right. In Just trying to watch out for everything, Chestnut right? Street, RT62. <clears throat> and it's finally stopped raining. It's been raining uh, for a very, very long time. So it finally stopped. Yeah, I'm happy about that. Kind of trying to see what's uh, what's that spot down there. Almost looks like uh, dirt, but I wiped it and it doesn't seem to want to disappear so maybe it's just built up gump or whatever there on the outside but oh what do we got here fire and rescue up here I don't know if you guys can even see it there towards the right looks like an ambulance up there and this is always the tough one right because we made our stop here but it's such a sharp corner I cannot see if anybody's coming so it's like almost impossible right <clears throat> yeah, this, I, I cannot see if anybody's coming. It just like I'm even trying in my best, but I just like very, very hard to see. But all right, I guess this guy says I can go. All right, uh, thank you there, Mr. Trucker. Uh, very, very hard for me to see if anybody was coming, right? It's a bad corner, but oh well. Boylston Street. No, we always go straight up here, RJ. We always do. Now they got a little bit of a lake up here. And it's actually a pretty big dam over there. I don't, you know, I've never actually been over there, walking over there, anything like that. Because every time I get here, it's like late in the evening, right? And it was no different yesterday. By the time I finally got down here, it's dark, right? So I can't really walk up there. But if you guys are able to see miles. it, there is a big dam right there. Right there to the right. You guys see that? That is a huge, huge dam up there. I don't know if you can actually walk in there or whatever, but yeah, that's a big, big dam up there. Almost looks like there's water coming out of that area up there. Can't quite see. Oh yeah, it's like a waterfall up there. Man, that would actually be gorgeous to go walk up there throughout the day. and. Go take a picture of that with my camera there. That would be awesome. Oh, look at that. We got a smoky bay up here. Maybe he's pulling somebody over or whatever, right? <clears throat> Curious anyways why this... Oh, two of them. Holy moly. Okay. Yikes. I guess... Uh, I don't think people are supposed to park right here. And they probably did, so they don't like that, right? <clears throat> yeah. Anyways, because that's a dam, right? So, you know, could be danger to the city if somebody did something with that dam, right? But yeah, now you can see the lake, right? We're right on top here and there's a big lake there, right? Anyhow, I appreciate you guys tuning in again. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get on down the road and see what we can show you guys today. It's only 380 miles, so it's not too crazy far, but hey... I'm gonna give you guys a heads up right now. Depending on which way I do this, finally decide to go, uh, depending on that, but most likely I will be going through New York City again, going over to Washington, George Washington. Can you believe that? Wow, that's twice within a very short time, right? Let me turn this a little bit warmer. I'm starting to get a little cold in here. 
I know my truck is not super warm yet. Oh, it's actually not too bad, but I mean the bunk heater has been running all night, so it should be all right. But I know I'm gonna have to buy new batteries somewhere down the road uh, because uh, last night when I took the microphone off, it, uh, it was showing red. So <clears throat> this morning when I turned it on again, it was green. But I'm pretty sure the batteries are just about to die. So. I don't really want that to happen because then we have to use the audio from the other camera and that could not be good that's a possibility that, that would not be good but anyhow this is uh, kind of the back road here for a list for a little bit that I got to run up here and then uh, I hit the interstate and then we're good to go right but I am also very ha very happy that we didn't get any ice rain up here yikes I was really worried about that yesterday right because they were calling for that and luckily we didn't get any of that so that's awesome here we go guys we just finished uh, pulling into one of these uh, travel plazas up here <clears throat> and uh, this is a little bit weird I don't know why they gotta have these containers here but from what I understand it's like the uh, no idling thing where you can like pay for the no I for the idle air or whatever then you'll get either heat or cold or AC or whatever into your uh, <clears throat> into your vehicle right so yeah <clears throat> that's what that I guess is for but we uh, finally got some new batteries so we got batteries for our microphone now we should be a-okay again and I will have to go and put on the uh, stronger ND filter on the uh, GoPro because it's uh, a little bit bright out there today so had to go put a stronger filter on it and now we're good to go a-okay so I decided oh, I'm gonna go through the uh, through New York City again through the Bronx and all of that so yeah we're probably well it says uh, an hour away we're an hour away from getting to the GW so we should still be all right and I managed to take a half an hour break up here as well so now at least even if I have a little bit of uh, <clears throat> traffic and whatever I should still be all right for the most part so hopefully that's going to be the case originally I was gonna go up here to the uh, pilot truck stop I had my GPS set all for it right right this exit right here there's a pilot right there on the left I see the sign up there and then I saw the travel plaza, I'm, I'm like, instead of going in, exiting and trying to find parking over there or whatever, I'm just going to go into the travel plaza there and voila, That's they had batteries have. there, so change, change the batteries on the mic and now we're A-okay. Back in business as I like to say it. But yeah, so it's going to be another interesting uh, one. It's going to be the second time that I'm crossing the GW in a very short time and it's, you know, it's only going to be my second time crossing it, right? So it's already a little bit of traffic up here, but oh well, what can I do, right? I talked to my buddy Angelo there and uh, he said, yeah, as long as you get there before 2 two thirty, then you should be alright. So I'm going to try and get over into that lane if I can some slow moving vehicles up here hopefully I can hopefully somebody will let me in because there's like a construction truck or whatever up there and they're going slow now he's exiting so I might be okay if these four-wheelers decide to pick up the speed anyways oh no I thought he was gonna exit because he was going in there but now he's just driving on the shoulder like really <laughs> I guess you got to do what you got to do, I guess, sometimes, but anyhow. Oh, no, he's exiting over here. That's why. Okay. I don't know what this four-wheeler is trying to do. <laughs> but, yeah, traffic up here is always crazy. You got to really keep an eye on everything because it's anything can happen in a split moment up here, right? Well, I'll let this four-wheeler in here. No problem. There you go. I guess they're cleaning up over here too so anyhow we're back in business with our uh, microphone here so we should be good to go here we got here we are guys in uh, New York City basically again 
as I told you guys we were going to have to cross the GW bridge again and here we are stuck in a rush hour jam <laughs> yeah I guess we didn't get here early enough but oh well that's how it goes but it's sign up there says very clearly no trucks in the left lane well there to the left that's the left lane trucks don't care when it's rush hour I guess but yeah that's how it looks like right now bumper to bumper traffic yep but I figured I'd just show you guys a little bit on what it looks like yeah we're still about five miles away from getting to the GW and it looks like there's a massive delay up there too so I could be in this for a couple of hours <laughs> yeah who knows oh well keep our fingers crossed we can make it across here safely right anyhow I just figured I'd show you a little bit on what it looks like and uh, I know this this ain't gonna be very interesting right just sitting there doing nothing right but hey that's how it goes that's what we truck drivers have to deal with uh, when we do drive long haul you know we run into big cities and big traffic jams right <clears throat> anyhow we just gotta learn to keep it cool and I have learned that over the years already you just gotta learn to keep it cool and be professional right that's what you have to learn to be you know if you want if you guys ever want to get into trucking be prepared for this right you have to have patience and uh, learn you know that you're going to be stuck somewhere in a traffic jam and you may not get to your delivery or pickup on time because of a traffic jam like this right you just have to learn to accept the fact simple as that no need to get super excited and get road rage and all that stuff you know but well, you guys see the sign right there it says no no trucks buses trailers in the left lane see everybody's in the left lane you can clearly see right now that that's the furthest left lane you can be in <laughs> seems like they don't care and my buddy Angelo lives up in this area this I'm not sure if this is already part of Bronx but I think we're very close in these surrounding area of Bronx so yeah here we go guys now we're getting ready to go over to GW yeah finally I guess I better step on it we've been in such a big traffic jam up here it's taken a good long while to try and get across this and these lanes are narrow really really narrow too but I know it's a little bit dark right now should have taken the filter off but I can't do it while I'm driving right you gotta leave it on but yeah it should be uh, should be starting to get dark here pretty soon well now we're finally getting across and once we get across we should be a-okay we should finally be out of this traffic jam right I was told about this good place up here and let's check it out Man, this is a nice buffet. This is the only Golden Corral that I've seen in any Flying J. And I was told about it, so I said, I'm gonna stop in here and see what kind of goodies they got in there. Oh my goodness. They got some real nice goodies in here. Oh man, let's take a look. They got buffet bar after buffet bar. You can't just imagine 18 something to eat here. But holy moly. That is some nice goodies here, eh? Oh, even some eggs and everything. Nice salad bar, probably. Let's have a look. Yeah, they got even a salad bar down here. I figured I would show you guys a little bit. Oh man, they used to have these kind of restaurants all over America with every Fly and J. They've continued to remove all of them. You got baked potato in there. Oh man, they even got soup in here. That looks like a nice soup. I may have one of those. See, you can have a nice dessert here. Nice chocolate pudding. Oh man, <clears throat> looks like a nice pie over there. Ay, ay, ay. I think we're gonna get big in here. Oh my, we gotta see this. We gotta see this. Are you guys seeing that? That looks like a chocolate, chocolate uh, thing right there. 
I guess you can get those uh, pineapples there and stick them in there or marshmallows right there. Oh my, I think we're gonna have too much dessert here tonight. I guarantee you. Well, it is the next morning now, guys, and supper was amazing, I gotta tell you. I know I didn't show you exactly what I all had for supper because I didn't want you guys to freak out. <laughs> I mean, I stuffed myself, I'm telling you guys. I really did. I made every penny of that meal worth it because it was a, a flat fee, right? <clears throat> it was like 18 something. Uh, for the whole supper right and everything was included ice cream dessert i mean you saw it on the clip here on what was all included right so yeah that was a nice meal i'm telling you and uh <clears throat> i hope you guys enjoyed me showing you guys around a little bit and then i went back to the truck and uh, had me a very nice sleep now it's the next morning and i getting ready to go over to my pickup and uh, pick up my uh, reload there so we got about an hour worth of driving to do to get there so let's get out of here i hope you enjoyed today's little vlog and uh, come back tomorrow and see what we're up to tomorrow so thank you very much for watching we'll see you back here tomorrow <laughs>